They never stop fighting. Don't let failure stop you. Don't you ever let rejection stop you. Don't you ever let people stop you. Settling for a life of existence rather than a life of substance. There may be many answers to this question. Your answers may be different than your associates or your spouses or your friends. While there may be many answers to this question, the fundamental answer is the absence of discipline. Now, we teach things that are generally not taught in school, as I already have said, but I want to talk about another little factor. 90% of the visits to medical doctors are directly or indirectly related to stress. I am here, ladies and gentlemen, to cheer you on, to let you know that you, you, my friends, are going to get there. You're going to get that promotion you are, You're going to complete that marathon and you are, You're going to run for your life. Whatever you are working towards, you are going to get there, but you got to. Get crystal clear what it is you want. What it is that you are seeking for what it is you truly want. You must know. You've got to know that you're going to get there. You stop moving forward because they said this and they said that. Let me tell you something about what he said and she said. Hey, to stop you? Really? When you get successful, haters are a part of the landscape. If you don't have haters, your vision is too slow. And then you have the great whites. Oh, then you got the great white shark, baby. They go deep. They love hunting in the deep. They are always going for the throat, and they don't stop until they win. See, when you go to the swimming pool, most people stay in the shallow end, but not great whites, baby. Not great white sharks. They go into the deep end. They love going deep. For you to become a millionaire, you gotta go deep. Some of you guys gotta read more. Some of you guys gotta study more. Some of you gotta change your relationship. Why? Because your friends are shallow. Applying all that we know. That's the key word, discipline self-discipline we might add one more word here consistent consistent self-discipline it doesn't really matter how smart you are or how much you know if you don't use it it doesn't really matter that you graduated magna cum laude if you're stuck in a low-paying job it doesn't really matter if you attended every seminar that comes to town if you don't apply what you've learned Better than knowledge is applied knowledge. Your family is shallow. If you want to be a great white baby, you got to get some new friends. You got to get some new conversations. You got to get some new material, new information, new access to new people that can take you to a place you've never been. All great white baby, they go deep. It's time for you to go deep. Whatever you put me in, I'm going to make it out on top. Wherever you drop me off, I'm going to make it. Why? Because I'm a shark. I don't care how many times that you need to try, no one can stop you but you. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. If you want to be a sales shark, you got to move different. You might still be in school. You want to be a straight A student? You got to move and operate differently. You a young aspiring athlete in high school or college, trying to make it to the league, trying to make it to the top, you can. And once we've applied our knowledge, we must study the results of that process. Apply our knowledge, study the results. Refine our approach. Finally, by trying and observing and refining and trying again, our knowledge will inevitably produce worthy results, admirable results. And with the joy and results of our efforts, we continue to apply, to learn, to observe, to fuel our ambition with the positive reinforcement of continued progress. Pretty soon, we'll find that we're swept into a spiral of achievement, a vertical rise to success. And the ecstasy of that total experience makes for a life of triumph over tragedy, dullness, and mediocrity. But for this whole process to work for us, we must first master the art of discipline, self-discipline, consistent self-discipline. You were born to be great. Believe it, there's greatness inside of you. So stop worrying about what everybody else is doing and start worrying about it. Going to do in order to get the life that you want. 
in order for you to live the life that you want, you've got to do the things that you don't want. In order for you to live the life of luxury, of health, of wealth, of happiness, you've got to make sacrifices. If it comes easy and fast, it's going to leave the exact same way. You can do much better than what you were doing. 90%! My stress level, and I face as many deadlines as anybody you know. It's always a book production, a class I'm teaching, a seminar I'm presenting, and each one of them uh, requires time and concentration. Example, how many of you feel like I've made this talk before? Can I see your hand, please? Several hundred times I made it yesterday. You know what I did between yesterday and today? I spent over six hours getting ready for today. You see, I think it would be arrogant if I thought I could stand up and spit it out just because I did it yesterday or hundreds of times. That's arrogance. Get up 30 to 60 minutes earlier if you have to, and make sure you get this done as a priority over everything else in your life. Number one, gratitude. This is more important than anything. I guarantee you, if you do this alone, every day it will change your life it will change how you feel about everything in your life spend 5 to 15 minutes every morning writing down at minimum three things you are extremely grateful for right now in your life it could be three things that if you were to lose you do anything to get back it could be to do with your family your eyesight the opportunities you have simply by being in this country, even to be thankful for low moments. When you respond to life instead of react to it, react is negative. You get sick, go to the doctor, she gives you a prescription, says, see me tomorrow. You walk in the next day, she said, uh-oh, it's not working. Uh, we got to have to change their prescription. You get a little nervous. But as she smiled and said, hey, it's working. And so you have just, she's just responded, and you feel better because now you see some real hope in order to get ahead in life. Make friends with people who want the best for you. And that's a meditation on my own childhood and adolescence to some degree. I, I had friends who wanted the best for me and friends who didn't. And, you know, they were friends who, some of them were aiming up and some of them were aiming down. And if you have a friend that's aiming down and you do something that's aiming up, then they're generally not that happy about it. You know, they try to top your accomplishment with one of their own hypothetical or real or. If you could trade places with someone right now, the person that you're trading places may have it just a little bit tougher than you have it going on in your life right now. So many people are suffering from so many things in this world at this moment, but yet you're complaining. So many people in this world right now wish they could trade places with you, but yet you're still complaining. You don't have that right to just give up. You don't have that right. That have made you who you are today, made you stronger. Your health, whatever it is, write it down. It is important you write it, not just think it. Write it and feel how grateful you are for those things. One by one. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Write down whatever comes through you naturally. It will be different every day, and that is good. Do this every morning before you start your day, and then be consciously on the lookout throughout the day of things you can write down for tomorrow.